We truly wish that you and your children can be reunited with him soonest and that he can receive the prize in person and in good health. It was a very good resolution with, which contained a threat to sanction the authorities in Azerbaijan and our names were mentioned in this resolution and they stopped torturing him. We sent a signal to countries from Saudi Arabia to Iran, from Egypt to the United States, that the EU will continue to seek the abolishment of the death penalty and an end to torture and other human rights violations. And then look at the war in Yemen, which is also completely irresponsible. Eight million people on the brink of starvation. That is reason enough for an EU-wide weapons embargo. The day will come. The day will come. And we each have to do what we can and what we must on a political level in making available budgets to facilitate the, the difficult, independent, uh, detailed uh, assembling of, uh, of evidence from whoever has committed uh, these crimes. I found that activists, students, journalists, opposition figures in North Africa and the Middle East were targeted and sometimes imprisoned as a result of these uh, systems coming from Europe. And I found that unacceptable then, I find it unacceptable today. I think the broad threat of interfering in elections and really stealing the right of people to vote for their representatives by secret ballots and universal suffrage is very serious. And there's threats from many sides. I mean, from foreign entities, uh, but also through the business models of social media that are really distorting the public debate, eroding trust, and eroding trust in liberal democracy. So we have to be ahead of the curve.